Alright guys, today we're talking about why I EDC a multi-tool. Now, you pretty much always see in any one of my EDC updates a multi-tool. Usually it's this guy or some amalgam of a Leatherman Charge Plus. But why do I EDC these and why do I prize them so heavily in my EDC as a whole? After all, I'm usually rocking some form of a knife like this guy here, this uh, Spider-Co Paramilitary 2. So why is it that I need an a multi-tool in my EDC. Well, first off, I want to say that I don't just I don't just EDC any multi-tool. Usually, for me, the prerequisite or qualifier has to be that it needs to have a good set of plier heads on it. And I've done videos breaking down in my previous videos talking about the three multi-tools that I do routinely EDC. One of them being the charge here, but also others being the Leatherman PST and the Skeletool, also by Leatherman. And on all three of the multi-tools, the biggest commonality is a really good set of pliers, and that is realistically the most valuable piece for me of a multi-tool. And certainly, I do appreciate having things like scissors, I do appreciate having a you know, flathead or even sometimes Phillips head screwdrivers on my multi-tools as well. They can come in handy, especially if you need to do some pry-esque tasks and you don't want to compromise your beautiful expensive knife's tip. But at the same time too, I do find myself regularly and routinely using pliers, whether it's to grab something uh, you know that I don't want to grab with my bare hands or maybe as a grip extension or something you know that I can't it's just out of my reach these give me a little bit better grip or oftentimes what it really is if I'm in a pinch and I need to turn something like a nut or a bolt and I just can't get enough grip to do it with my hands it's nice to have that leverage that you can get out of a good set of pliers now once again I'm not going around screwing or unscrewing bolts and nuts with this you know multiple times in a row and definitely pliers are not the best tool for that definitely a wrench is much better but in a pinch if you just have that one you know nut or bolt you need to deal with this can do the task pretty well if you don't have any other alternative and so it's for those reasons that I really end up loving having a plier based multi-tool now of course there are other benefits especially to something like this guy where it does have something like an S30V main blade that is pretty handy if I need it as a replacement or if I need to use it in place of my main blade but oftentimes like I said it really is more about the tools so other tools I do use a lot on multi-tools are scissors in an everyday capacity um, now outdoors I don't tend to use scissors actually that much that's why I tend to go with things like the Victorinox Farmer for a dedicated bushcrafting multi-tool but um, you know, scissors are pretty handy for EDC tasks. In addition, like I said, having a really good flathead screwdriver that can be used as a bit of a pry bar is very handy. And then lastly, I think one thing that is very slept on for most multi-tools is having a really good saw. I use saws actually quite a lot um, in just different tasks and projects, whether they're EDC related or whether they're outdoor related. And honestly, a lot of times with my EDC, I find myself outdoors anyway so having a really capable um, saw is very very handy aside from that though those are essentially some of the biggest reasons why I carry a multi-tool now like I said the multi-tools I usually carry are predominantly the Leatherman Charge the PST or pocket survival tool and the skeleton tool so those are kind of my options and the biggest reasons why I carry a multi-tool what do you guys think? Do you always carry a multi-tool with you, or are you perfectly content with just running a knife? Like I said, I personally prefer to run both. I think it makes it more well-rounded because you're not going to be able to find a multi-tool that has better ergonomics than a dedicated knife, and most of the time, most of my knives are running a better steel, even the CPM S30V. But, uh, you know, having them in combination, I don't think is too unreasonable. Some people do give me flack in the comments about saying, why do you carry two knives, essentially? But honestly, I think every tool has a proper purpose and a proper reason. And I've talked about that in a lot of different videos, so I won't hammer that in this video too much. But ultimately, guys, that is my setup and why I use the multi-tool every day. As always, guys, God bless. And I'm